really happy to see so many here. So uh, it's my honor to introduce Pratik, uh, our senior vice president of uh, product development here at, at Intuit. And he leads the uh, developer experience team that uh, is responsible for, for Argo. And I'll leave the word to Pratik. Thank you. Wow, first of all, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. All right, perfect. So welcome Argonauts to our two days of fun, learning, and actually it's amazing to see all of you in person. Uh, this is our second official ArgoCon. Uh, we had our inaugural one last year, all virtual. Uh, and uh, it was just amazing to connect, even though it was virtual with all of you. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing uh, a whole lot of you over the next two days. Um, first of all, I'd like to wish a very warm welcome to all of our maintainers, contributors, users, and sponsors. Uh, you know, so uh, please welcome to this event. And uh, this day uh, was actually added as uh, because a lot of you requested this day last year. So what we heard last year is we needed uh, one day to actually focus on building the community, uh, actually getting more hands-on with workshops uh, and learning a whole lot more. Right? So this community day, uh, of course, tomorrow we'll be launching and you will hear a lot more about Argo from all of the other speakers. But today it's all about you. It's about actually bringing this community together, uh, learning from each other, are uh, learning from the, the teams that are working on Argo actively, but also actually to figure out how you can all help to grow the community. Um, I have been part of the Argo community since its inception. Uh, as most of you will know, Argo was actually uh, incubated at a company called Aplatics, which was then later acquired by Intuit. And we have continued uh, to foster and grow this community. Argo is used extensively at Intuit uh, for all of our production workloads, and we continue to uh, contribute heavily to it. So actually seeing all of you actually is amazing for me personally. Uh, and uh, it's really been very humbling to see this journey and the community grow and the project really, really you know, prosper. So there's a couple of things that I would like uh, to essentially let you know, right? Uh, we are, this day is about three things. Um, we really, really want you to focus on one, informing the community. So welcome all of you, by the way. As you can see, this is, uh, this is just a small snapshot of all of you uh, and all of our end users that are actually using this. Um, and as I said, this is a moment for all of us to come together as a community. So there are a couple of things that I'd like to focus on. There are three things. One, today is all about informing the community. You're all a part of this community. You actually work on it every day. Uh, I'm hoping that you work on it every day as part of your job. Uh, but this is actually about informing all of you about what's going on, what are the new things in the market, and I say market, by the way, because I've always thought of Argo as a product. Even though it's an open source community and we've always made it open source, but the one thing that has stood out for Argo has been that we've always wanted to treat it as a product, to build it as a product, so that it's actually very easy for all of our end users to use. So our goal really is to make sure that, you know, you're informed about what's going on. Uh, secondly, it's about strengthening the community. Uh, a large part of today will be focused on hands-on workshops where you can actually get to learn the features of the product, uh, whether you are a new user or whether you are advanced user, it won't matter. You will actually learn a lot about what's going on. Um, but also, you know, finding new ways to actually use the products and learn from each other. So please use this time to connect with all of us connect with all of you and actually learn about the product. Uh, and then finally, it's about growing the community. Right? So 
a large part of our effort is to educate you, train you today, but also to actually help you learn about how you can contribute to the community. There's actually lots of ways that you can contribute to the community, right? and you'll learn that today. So I'm hoping that you actually take uh, part in figuring out how you can contribute. There are various, various ways. You don't actually even have to write code, only code. I would love for everyone to write code, uh, you know, but, uh, but there are all a whole host of ways to contribute to the community. Um, so before I close off, I know I want, I'm standing between you and workshop today. Right? So I'd like to actually say that I'm happy to announce we have a host of new releases. So if you are paying attention, there were actually new releases that were sent up last night. Uh, and uh, we have Argo rollouts 1.3, Argo workflows 3.4, so please join me, huge round of welcome and applause. And uh, shortly you're gonna learn about these new releases from the leads, uh, the new features and what's, what's coming in as we, as we get into the, but uh, one thing that actually I'm very, very proud of is that as I mentioned before, we've always thought about Argo as a product. So what do products have in common? One, they're very stable, they have, a regimented you know, schedule of releases, uh, and we keep it that way. Uh, so Argo has been definitely one of the products and projects where we have made sure that the quality, the timeliness of the releases is on par, on par with the actually an actual product that you will see. Um, I'm actually very excited to see that we continue that tradition of making sure that we have active releases going on all the time. And it's contributed by all of them. With that, I'm going to hand it over to Henrik. But again, thank you and a warm welcome to all of you. I hope you're going to have a great day today. Okay. Thank you. So before uh, we get started with the workshop, I just want to go over the schedule real quick um, and also do some housekeeping rules. So here's the schedule for today. We'll be in this room the whole day. For the workshops that start after the roadmap session here at 10.30, we will actually divide the room up. You see that the walls are gonna come in the middle here. So we'll have two thirds on one side and one third on, on the other side, but it'll still be in, in, in this room. Uh, and then at the, in the afternoon, when we have the uh, contributor session, the contribution session, We'll open up the room and, and do a full room again for, for everyone. And then we'll round off the day with happy hour. That will be on, I think the food and drinks will be served out here, but we we'll also have the patio reserved out here in the, in the back so you can mill, mill in and out. So uh, some housekeeping rules. There should be a security guard uh, stationed if you want to go outside, so feel free when you, if you need to step out and do a call, if you're eating or drinking, feel free to do that outside and there should be a guard there to let you back into the building uh, again. When we do lunch and coffee breaks, feel free to grab the food, eat, use the tables. Uh, for lunch, there's also a seating area over by the cafeteria over in that direction. I think I'm pointing in the right direction. Someone else from Intuit, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, there's a lot of seating there. You can sit outside. Once again, there here is the serve as well. Uh, but please don't bring any food or drinks into the conference rooms. So um, those of you that are drinking coffee, just hide it. <laughs> uh, also, like I said, when we started, uh, CNCF is asking us all to uh, mask while we're indoors. So unless you're eating or drinking, which you're not allowed to do in the conference room. So everyone should have a mask in the conference room. Uh, please wear a mask. There's also plenty of hand sanitizers and stuff around. So it's an extra mask if you lose one, right? So stay, stay safe, make sure everyone's comfortable with what you're doing. For the workshops, um, I see that most of you have laptops. If, there's, if there are some of you that don't have laptops with you and you still wanna do the workshops, or if you have issues getting the workshop started, we have a stack of about a dozen or so uh, loaner laptops that we can we can uh, lend you. We will 
grab some deposit from you, like a uh, car key or driver's license to make sure that you don't forget to return it when you leave. But those are available uh, <coughs> if anyone needs those. Um, and then is, are we doing the tickets for the happy hour? It was, we are, okay. So for the happy hour, at some point during the day, you'll be given drink tickets for the happy hour. Um, so I think you'll get two tickets each uh, for, for drink, for beer and, and wine that will be served out here as well. Uh, and I think lastly, for the workshops, I think those of you that have seen the schedule before you came here know that there are gonna be parallel tracks, right? It's gonna be one CD and rollout track and one workflow and event track. So just so we know which side should be which, how many in here uh, are interested in doing the CD and rollout uh, workshop? Okay, and how many for the workflows and events? Okay, so I think with my quick head count, I think that roughly equates to two thirds for CD and rollout and one third for, for workflows. Um, so I think, I don't know what this feel like guys. So I think that this side here, I think it's gonna be the workflow side. And this side here is gonna be the CD and rollout side. I believe that's the case. Um, I think that was, I think that was pretty much it. Did I miss anything, Lindsay, Megan? The only other thing, we will have everyone's badges that are here today. Before you leave today, you'll get your badge for tomorrow. So you won't have to go back through vaccine verification. You'll just show your ID and your badge, and then you'll be on your way right into the venue tomorrow. We'll have this for you out in the lobby later today. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> I think that's uh, any any questions. Wow, starting off good. So really happy to see you all here. Uh, it's really exciting. Um, I know this was something that people asked for last year. So really excited to have this come to fruition. Um, and I think with that, we'll leave it over to the project leads to start uh, start the day with the roadmap session.